you making me OD I just wanna let you know that it's killing me slowly I'm done with you, you just cry with me What's up y'all? So as y'all read by the title, this will be an updated plug-in method tutorial video. So jumping straight into it, what you see me doing is parting the wig into four sections. But first, I'm gonna part it into the first section. Next, what you're gonna see me doing is taking that first section and I'm gonna bust it down into four sections going vertical. This wig did come pre-plugged, so it wasn't like that thick of a density, but I still like to pluck all of my wigs. So if you are like a beginner or you already be plucking, but it don't be coming out exactly how you want, I highly recommend trying this method and um let me know in the comments what y'all think about it but um now i'm gonna go in with my wax stick all of the products i use will be listed down below um with the wax y'all don't overdo it just put enough um because we are gonna be putting it all through the lace literally um now taking a hot comb though i'm gonna comb it all out and all of the items that you will need is some good tweezers a hot comb and a wax stick that's literally it for the actual plucking um what the motion reminds me of is like um, a pull and tug, pull and tug, you know, um, and you don't want to stay in one spot for too long because you will start to get holes or you will start to overplug and you don't want to do that. So going into the next section, um, like I said, this is very like a repetitious um, cycle. So I'm just doing the same thing when in each section. But what I highly do recommend is making sure that you pluck on a towel or like a rag, something that is, um, is it translucent? I can't think right now, y'all. It's late. But you just want to pluck on something that you can actually see your results because that is a lot of the times how people end up over plucking because they don't actually see what they're plucking and they're just pulling on the hair. Um, so yeah, like I said, you just want to make sure that you're plucking on um like a towel paper or not a towel a towel y'all come on work with me a towel or something so you can see exactly what you're doing in the motions you're going in but like i said you want to um work that hot comb through there because the ends don't need to be flat as possible the goal is to make sure that the hairline is not thick you don't want a thick hairline because that is not how our natural hairline is our natural hairline is actually you know um naturally plucked and like it's it's fitting accordingly to our hair so mimic your hairline on your lace mimic it to your actual real hairline that's how i go about it you know and like i stated y'all when it comes to plucking you want it to look very natural as possible and in order to achieve that you have to make sure that when you're plucking you want to start plucking in front of it like on top of the lace where the lace is here at and then you want to go behind it and that's going to really help with actually not just look like you're plucking in one area but it looks like the plucking is going into illusion going backwards um make sure you keep 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 hot combing and taking a brush or a comb and brushing the hair backwards that way you can see whether or not you need to pluck a little bit more or if you need to stop plucking and it's good that's very vital to this um to getting a good pluck to look like your scalp and like I said, going with the actual plucking method, you want to do a pull and tug motion. So I'm pulling, tugging, pulling, tugging, but not too hard because you don't want to get no, uh, you don't want to get no holes in it or you don't want to overly pluck. So in order to not overly pluck, you just have to make sure that you keep moving in sections, moving in section and also going to one side to the other. Don't get caught up on one side um and just pluck right there don't do that that's why it's important that if you follow this method do the, like break it down in pieces break it down like a pound but break it down in pieces so or in sections i could say i should say so you could um really get the motion and you know as you can see like this is oh i did the other part off camera but um this is this side y'all like as y'all can see it's plugged like that looks more realistic like my hairline Mm -hmm, but not overly plucked and this side over here is what a pre-plucked wig like some wigs don't come pre-plucked at all but this company did pre-pluck the wig so that's what it looked like but um this is what i mean when i say line it up with the mannequin head use a white tile or a, a rag um and you just want to line it up so the placement that you put the wig on i really recommend getting a mannequin head but if you don't got a mannequin instead uh stand use what you have but line it up or just part it in four sections it need to be part in four sections but in order to get the four sections like me 
I use the mannequin head as a guidance for my parts, for my sections. And that's it. Um, like I said, you're going to want to pull out the back piece here to cover up the track. You know, get that piece out the way, as y'all see. And then I'm going to measure up the four sections that I'm going to cut this up in. So, in other words, it's going to be four sections. And in each four sections, you're going to do four rows. That makes sense. <laughs> you know, like I said, it's very repetitious. We're going to do the same thing over and over. But I'm going to be quiet. Let y'all watch. Um, what I will say, though, if you do have a wig that you are plucking, please watch this video as you're plucking it. I feel like watching it as you're doing it is going to give you a better understanding. But it's also going to help you go into the motions that I go into. And I feel like it'll come out like mine, if not even better. And I just really want you to try that. So if you try it away, please comment below um, how you feel about it. But... <laughs> I'm be glad y'all. I'm coming at the end. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else do. That's why I'm mine.
This is basically how I pluck my lace frontal wigs. Um, I'm just checking it out, seeing if I like it, seeing if I need to pluck a little more. And on that side, um, I did go back in and pluck a little more. If you wanted to learn how to bleach the knots on your lace frontal wig, please make sure you check out the video that's going to be on my channel. But if you guys want to see the final results on how I installed this wig, please make sure you stay tuned to the end. And I'm going to post one little TikTok clip of me installing this wig. I just want to say, y'all, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting on my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit that like button, comment something that you liked about the video or something that you learned, and hit that bell notification. But also, share this video with a friend or a friend or somebody that need to watch this video. And I love y'all. I hope y'all stay encouraged and in good spirits. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Mm. <laughs>